see the dawn dawn is the first d now we should walk to the day the second d we should go to the task this third d and we shouldn't go to the dark this is 4d all people should know about this We must accept the chain according to the uh, Dan Dan Xiaoping's words. Yeah, we, we, we must open the window. There must be the flies coming into the room. This is our duty to expel or a mongrel that is driving out these all bees or insects. This is our duty. At the moment, the changes are at the high high politics level, basically, and, and most changes will offer occur at the state level, macroeconomic level. I think the small businesses, the, 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 the kind of, uh, you know, which doesn't go into the GDP, perhaps will continue for a long time. And the uh, country is too big and too vast to be affected all the time at the same time too. The Myanmar government at present Saint 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 is uh, implementing the changes and developments in Myanmar. And I think that is a very, very great chance where in the last, over the last six months, people just didn't believe it. And it, many things happened slowly or it happened late. But people did not believe that it's true. But now, now this is changing where we can see through the ministries where uh, very free guidelines are. For our doctor teams, we had to ask uh, through the army command to defense uh, if we can go up country in rural areas. Now that in, in May already the minister told us no more red tape. I'm happy for the changes, but I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about rising expectations. People tend to have rising expectations, which are exponential after some time. That can't be really realized. Even no government can do that in the world. This may be also where I grew into Myanmar, where I learned that with nearly nothing, just having an idea, a little bit of action and willingness, you can move huge, huge things in Myanmar. You can develop huge things in Myanmar. It takes a long while. Certain things which happened uh, in despair, uh, which had been, uh, which had been uh, left uh, neglected, it's very difficult to, to, to repair them at all. Sometimes you may have to abandon them even. But then at the job, people really, if they, they see you as their teacher, especially if it's the first time they just come out from school or have done anything, you become the first teacher. You are the teacher of life for life. They, are, they are stay with you for life. And that I have seen over the last 15, 16 years always that people always stick to you, that they help you wherever you are. Very, very good people to work with. The change is coming and is set uh, already. But some conservative in our country, they don't want to see the some changes. According to our Burmese traditional, our, some our Burmese the people, they think the change is coming. But they don't want to see the change because we must, we will lost the, our tradition. It's, I think, it's nonsense. It's nonsense. So we must stand firmly on my tradition. We must stand firmly on our spirit, basic spirit. We must also uh, the firmly stand on our ethic. But we must, at the other hand, we must accept the change in culture or politics or any kinds of changes we must accept. I just want a, a statesman, we can say, uh, who, who want to build the, our country, who want to build our, the, the, the improvement of our peoples. 
would sacrifice their life for our country. We, yes, we, 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 we want to say we want that kinds of the people. Well, the Aung San Suu Kyi is a remarkable person because people have ridden off her in the last decade and she came back. Of course, you cannot do alone. There must be a receptive political atmosphere of her to be positive and to be uh, which you call cooperating with, with the stakeholders. The reconciliation bit is sometimes the most difficult of all because both sides have to be prepared to compromise and to give, not just take. And give and take is such a mutual process that we need to find the right balance. So we are at a very difficult stage, but at the, mo at the same time, as I've always said, I'm a cautious optimist, and I'm cautiously optimist, optimistic that we're going forward and that we will be able to get onto the road towards true national reconciliation, which is essential if our country is to be the kind of country we all want to be. The president has done his homework and then he is responding to the wishes of the people in a way he could under the constraints of the constitution and the style of government that has been quite familiar for the past 40 years. When we talk of democracy, we're really talking about institutions. We want the kind of institutions that will protect the freedom and security of our people. We all want to be able to find our own happiness, the freedom to search for our own happiness, to build up our own happiness, not to have other people's idea of happiness imposed on us, whether we want it or not. So it is very difficult to, to say and say we need total freedom, free press in the most uh, liberal sense and so on. Uh, I think responsibility is the word used by the dictators, of course, to the masses, but it is really true that you have to have some responsibility. Change that is coming from the people, and I think that's the best and most reliable kind of change. It could be fits and starts, but no return back, of course, which the government has promised, the president has promised, and the politicians seem to be agreeing to that. We know that it's the people of Burma who have to do the real work in this country. No more uh, up to bottom, bottom to up. I say, you are in charge, you decide. Don't ask me, but let me know. But you make a mistake, you are in charge. You are responsible, and I think that is what is a very good approach for Myanmar people, because over 40 years, they were, not to be, they were not allowed to be in charge. And now making them in charge is a process which will have to be learned and it will take time. We are going to see signs of real change very soon. There has been a lot of talk about change, but people always want to see something concrete and they're right too. Talk is never enough, but at least it's a beginning. And I think we are beginning to see the beginning of change. We should go to the day with hand to hand with unity. Every people, every government, every political leaders, every politician, every every people in our country, we should hand in hand go and walk to the day, not to backward to the dark.